Do you want to learn Revit? Or you need training material for your business? Join thousands of users and download the Revit Pure Basics Learning Package. It is the most fun and efficient way to learn Revit. It contains an ebook, video tutorials, a template, and an exercise project. Learn more at revitpure.com basics or check the link in the description below. In this tutorial, we are going to create terminations to add to our railings. Terminations can be used on top rails and handrails. As you can see in this example, terminations are placed at the extremities of rails. We have a railing using custom profiles for the top rail and for the handrail. The problem is that this creates sharp edges at the extremity of the rail. To make the railing secure and to avoid people stabbing themselves in the stomach with the rails, we will add a termination family that is going to make the extremities much more smooth. This is the end product we want to achieve. First, create a new family. Pick the railing termination family template. The family has to be modeled on the right side here. To help create the correct geometry, we are going to go back to the main project and select the profile used for the top rail. Enter this profile family and load it in the termination family. Back in the termination family, create a sweep. The path should go between the two vertical reference planes. Select the profile you have just loaded and click the green check. Now, go into the left side elevation. Click on the Revolve tool. First, draw the axis line on the central reference plane. Then, draw the boundary lines based on the half of the sweep profile. To complete the bottom part of the profile, we use the ellipse tool. Use the split tool to cut the ellipse shape. Finally, adjust the boundary lines of the ellipse. Modify the properties so the end angle is set to minus 180 degrees. You can now delete the sweep and only keep the revolved geometry. Select it and assign a parameter to the material. In any elevation view, move the geometry so it is centered on a level reference. The family is done. Load it into the project. Select the railing and click on Edit Type. Then, edit the top rail properties. Add the termination family you've created for both the beginning and end termination. As you can see in the 3D view, the rail profile nicely fits with the termination. If you want to adjust the material of the termination, find the family in the project browser. Double click on it and set the material. We also set the termination family for the handrail. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the basics learning package.